Okay, today we're going to swap over 16.5mm standard gauge wheels here on a Southern Rail Loco uh, 2300 and we're going to replace them with 12mm uh, wheels which you can see over here. When you get a conversion kit uh, you'll also get some side frames, that's quite important because uh, given that these Lycos are uh, running on 3 foot 6 gauge in real life um, uh, the wheels should be narrower on them like the 12 mils but uh, obviously a lot of people still run HO gauge so uh, that's why Southern Rail makes the 16 and a half mil bogies. To swap them over it's really quick first of all all you have to do is um, uh, get the side frames off now there are uh, two pins that hold them off and you just basically got a lever I'd use a pair of tweezers like that uh, and you can lever them off uh, quite quickly and I'll do the one on the other side just lever it off very gently like so and off it pops now um, just take note of the orientation on these bogies if I hold them up like that you can see that curved bit that's the back end of the flexi coil bogies that run on the 2300 and they always go closest to the fuel tank the other end and if I hold that up to the camera you'll see doesn't have that um, rounded corner on it um, so that goes towards where the couplers are so now all I'm going to do is put those side frames to one side uh, and the next thing to do is to pop off the gear tower now the easiest way to do that you'll see here there are some clips on the side so we just got to lever those clips up just pop them up like so one and two Oh, sorry, the other thing I should have showed you, um, in order to make the side frames stick out the right amount to fit the 16.5mm wheels on, there are these little uh, plastic collars that go on the pins where the bogies are. So you can take those off. Uh, one. Take another one off, it will come. Uh, that's the, oh. Might be easier to do with the, the gear tower off. So anyway, you can see that clip there. I'm going to do this other one uh, now. I'm going to pop that off just with the tweezers underneath it. And then uh, you can lever it off the back like so. And the whole gearbox clip comes off. So now you can see the, the wheels and the wheel sets. Notice that the wheels are, uh, have helically cut. Um, gears as well that makes for quieter running so now I'm just going to lift out each one and uh, they come out very simply one two three uh, so now that I've got the wheels out of the bogey uh, the 16 and a half mil ones which you can see where am I here um, what I'm going to do now is put the 12 mil the 12 mil ones in uh, into the bogey now so it's just a matter of getting them up and then uh, just put them in and to push the contacts back in place so they sit behind the wheels I just use a pair of hemostats if they'll behave themselves because it is quite tricky to get these contacts in behind it and as you can see I sp failed spectacularly uh, so I'm just going to do it manually stick them in behind the wheel set see like so and then make sure that it goes over the pin that's on the bogey like so. So try again and now into the middle wheel set so uh, just again the hemostats should work a bit better one's gone down perfectly and then finally the last 12 mil wheel set uh, again just hold them down like so and perfect so now they're all sitting there behind uh, the backs of the wheels and oh except for that last one <laughs> always happen there we go because so, the wheels weren't quite down inside they're actually a double prong contact so you've got to get two prongs down behind the wheel sets so that's now the uh, wheels into the bogey and it's just a matter of putting the cover uh, back on and it'll just clip into place it has six points that it clips in there we go all clipped in now so that's ready to go and now just to make sure that you use the 12 millimeter bogies and if you want to know why they're different 
I'll just hold them up to the camera here and you can see that the 12 millimeter one uh, and so this is the 16 and a half one and the 12 millimeter one has a smaller um, a shorter uh, um, end on it if you like so remember what I said earlier is the rounded part of the flexi coil bogey which you can see up here has to go towards the fuel tank so I'm just going to push that in now gently just push that in place like so and then the other side frame make sure I put the 12mm uh, one there and push the other side frame on now very gently wants to go on and there it is so now we've got 12 millimeter wheels with a 12 millimeter side frame and if I lift that up you can see uh, now I'll bring that into the light and just shine it get the reflection light so you can see it clearly you can see how those side frames have moved in if I show you the 16 and a half mils ones on the other end you can see how the wheels sit out further from the gearbox um, or the bogey, you know, the bogey, um, what do you call it? Uh, anyway, the, the the bogey part in the in the centre here. You can see how much distance there is compared to the 12 mil uh, one here. So that just shows you very quickly how to uh, change them over. Um, if you're looking to pull this locomotive apart, it's quite easy. Uh, let's see if you can see it. If I can hold it up to the camera. Uh, just get the reflection right just down in there you can see there's a screw there and there's a similar one uh, on the other side of the fuel tank I can get, again get the, the uh, reflection right but it sits down in there you just unscrew those you also have to remove the coupler box so you unscrew that one and the one at the other end and the body just lifts off it's very simple uh, and easy to do Thanks very much.